Hello and uh, welcome to this another episodes on how can you become and be recognized as best in management in your area of influence. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about one of the questions uh, that has been viewed very uh, large numbers on Quora, and I have replied to that, and people have liked that. So I thought I will share the answers to you in this video. And the question is, how can you get success in life? It's a very good question and a very important question. Every one of us wants to be successful in life. And the question that we that I'll try and answer in this is, how can you become successful in life? So successful that you become and be recognized as best in management area, not only to do well in your life, but help the whole society by mentoring them. See, and let me take you step by step. See, it all starts by first defining what does success mean. The definition of success is different from person to person. You have to define. Is your success becoming a tracking the film industry in Mumbai? Or is it becoming a professor in some institute? Or is it becoming a leader in a company? Or is it making a million dollars money? So you have to define what is it that you want to achieve? What is the definition of success for you? Or is it to some of the people who are very spiritually minded to go and live uh, along with Swami Ramdev and uh, teach and coach people and help people? So you have to define your success and that's entirely up to you. Second thing with that you need to define what is the time frame for your success and it will depend. Both are interlinked. The, the, some, some, uh, some goals will take longer to achieve. Like if you want to be, get a million dollar you want to achieve it will take many years many many years and a lot of effort if you want to become a, a film you want to crack film industry obviously it again is going to take some efforts right and many years again so you need to define how many years and what do you want to become now then at these times and your goal should be realistic like right? you know for, for example uh, at the age of 65, I can't say I want to crack film industry, can I? Obviously not. But at the age of 19, 16, 17, and if you have beautiful uh, body, a, a good voice, good acting capabilities, can you not set up a goal of cracking the film industry? You can, obviously. Right? So you need to define the success. That is the first step. Once you define the success, then you need to figure out and that's where the challenge lies and the secret sauce of being successful in life is to figure out what do I need to do, what, what are the things that I need to do to reach that goal, that reach that success level. Now the question is how do I find it? Is there a formula? Yes, there is a formula. There is a methodology called key success factor analysis and management, which basically tells you what are the five things that you must do consistently over a period of time to reach that success that you have defined? So you need to define success and then once you define, say example, you want to uh, become, you want to crack the film industry, right? So you figure out what will it take for me to be successful in film industry and how do you do that? So it's very simple actually. You look at one of the one or two or three or four or max five people who have cracked that success. Who are the people who have been successful in the film industry? Who are the people who have become billionaires? Who are the people who have become great leaders in management? And you study their life and pattern and see what is it that they have done. A good example is the two Ambani brothers, Mukesh Ambani versus Anil Ambani. Now, and that's kind of comparison you need to do. You need to compare what did Mukesh do that Anil did not do. Mukesh persisted. He had a strategy. He said, I'm, I'm good at producing low cost things. So I'm getting to those businesses where I can produce the low goods at the lowest cost and sell at the best price in the industry. Whereas uh, Anil did hundreds of things and he didn't stick to one area. So like this, you need to figure out this. And I, I have a lot of places where I can teach and coach you about how to do that. So if you're interested, you can always come back and message me and say, hey, sir, you talked about that success factor analysis. Can you tell me how can I do this? So I'll be happy to tell you. 
Once you do the success factor analysis, it'll tell you five or 10 things that someone else has done, other people have done to reach that success level. From there, you need to pick few things and that's where you're formulating a strategy. Say, for example, to crack a film industry, you must be from a family which is in the film industry also. You must have a beautiful voice. You must have a good body. You must have connections. You must be able to rough it out. Now, you need to see what is it that you have that can help you achieve that goal. If you are not from a film uh, family, obviously, you can't achieve that. Uh, you, you don't have that advantage. But if you are, you have an excellent voice, right, and you have a good acting capability, like Aryan has, then you can say, okay, I'm going to give it a shot. So you need to figure that. So you need to formulate a strategy. And your strategy has to be, given those success factors, what will I do over these years that will help me achieve, that reach me my success level. So you, and then you just start doing that. Right? You start doing all that that you've chosen to work on. And you work for some period, at least three months, six months, a year's time. Three months is minimum. Nothing happens before three months. In my my belief is uh, it will more like nine months to a year that you need to continue working. And once you spend that much time, then you need to evaluate and see whatever work that you're doing, whatever strategies you're following, which one of them are really working for you. And you need to do what is called a uh, stop, continue and start analysis. You need to say, okay, over the last three months, six months, eight months, nine, nine months or a year's time, I have done these things. What are the things that are working? What are helping me at least make a beginning in that area? What is getting smaller roles in anything that I want to do in a film industry? Am I getting something locally? Am I being called for interviews and auditions? And those are the things you should continue doing. Then there may be a few things that you're doing, but they're not producing any results. This passionately, you should say, I'm not going to stop doing those things. I'm not going to do those things. And then you should say, okay, what are the things that I'm not doing that I start doing? So review this, your strategy by this start, stop, continue framework. And keep doing it. Go around the circles. Develop strategies. See progress. Evaluate progress reformulate just do it again for another period of three months six months nine months a year's time go and evaluate and it will take time but the things will happen i've been putting my courses on udemy for last two years i've learned i figured out how to do that but it takes time room is not built in a in a day it takes a while so have patience and if you have patience if you have the right strategy and if you are started just doing like Nike says, success will come.